In the last lecture, we learned how dependency injection works in Angular. We learned that when we want Angular to inject an instance of a service to our component class or directive, we use providers array to tell Angular what type of instance it needs to provide us. Right. Now, Angular dependency injector is a hierarchical injector. What does that mean? That means if we provide a service at some place in our app, let's say on a component, so let's say at this component C, we are providing this user service. Now here, the Angular framework will create and inject an instance of this user service for this component C and all its child components and their child components as well. Okay, so here we provided this user service only on this component C. But Angular will inject an instance of this user service for this component C and all its child components and their child components. That means it will also inject the same instance for this component C1 and for this component C2. Okay, so this component and its child components and their child components will receive the same instance of that service. Let's understand this with an example. So in the last lecture, we created this enroll service and we are using this enroll service in this JavaScript component and in this Angular component. Now, in order to tell Angular that we need this enroll service in these components, we use this providers array. And here we specify the type of the service for which we need an instance. Okay, so here we are using this providers array inside this Angular component and inside this JavaScript component. Now, what we can also do is instead of using this providers array for this JavaScript component and this Angular component, we can go ahead and use this providers array on the app component itself. Okay, so we can use it here. And in order to use this enroll service class, we also need to import it. So let me copy this import statement from here and let's use it here. And here we also need to change the file path. All right, now this JavaScript component and this Angular component are the child components of this app component. So when we are using this providers array on this app component, Angular will create an instance of this enroll service for this app component. And it will also inject the same instance for this JavaScript component as well as this Angular component. Okay, so here, let me copy this constructor from here and let's use it inside this app component. Okay, and now let's go ahead and let's comment this providers array in the JavaScript component as well as in the Angular component. So here what will happen is Angular will create an instance of this enroll service and it will assign that instance to this enroll service parameter here. And Angular will assign the same instance to this enroll service inside the JavaScript component and to this enroll service parameter inside this Angular component. And notice here, we have commented this providers array in Angular component and JavaScript component. Now, if I save the changes and if I go to the web page, our application should still be working. So when I click on this enroll button, it is displaying this message. Thank you for enrolling to JavaScript course. And when I click on this enroll button of Angular component, it is still displaying this alert window with this message. Thank you for enrolling to Angular course. So here, the same instance which we will receive for this app component that will be propagated to the JavaScript component as well as Angular component. And this is what hierarchical dependency injection is. Now, apart from providing a service on a component, we can also provide a service on other places. And the highest possible level where we can provide a service is the app module. Now, if we provide a service at app module level, then the same instance of the service is available throughout the app in all the components, in all the directives, and in all other services where we may inject this service. So, for example, here we are providing this enroll service on this app level. So, let's comment this here as well. And now let's go ahead and let's provide this service on app module level. 
So if I open appmodule.ts file, here you will notice that we have this providers array. And inside this, we can specify the service which we want to provide. And again, in order to use this class, we also need to import it. So let's again copy this import statement from here and let's use it in app module. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. And remember that we have commented this providers array for app component, for JavaScript component, and for Angular component. But now we have provided this enroll service inside the app module. So now an instance of this enroll service will be created by Angular and it will be injected for all the components, all the directives, and all other services in our whole application. That means an instance of this enroll service will be available for app component, JavaScript component, and Angular component in this example. Okay, so the same instance of this enroll service will be available for all these three components. And our application should still be working. So if I go to the web page, if I click on this enroll button of this JavaScript component, we are still getting this alert window with this message. Thank you for enrolling to JavaScript course. And when I click on the enroll button of this Angular component, again, we are still getting this alert window with this message. Thank you for enrolling to Angular course. Okay, so remember that when we provide a service on app module level, the instance of that service is available throughout the application. It is available for all the components, all the directives and all other services. The next level is the app component level with some child components. So here the app component and all its child components and their child components will have the same instance of the service if we provide the service on the app component level. And this is true for any component. Okay. And we already discussed this with an example. Now remember that the instance don't propagate up. They only go down the tree of the components. For example, if we provide a service on this component C1 level, then the instance of that service will be injected for this component C1 as well as for its child component, but it will not be injected for this component C. Okay, so the dependency injection does not work in upward direction. It always works in downward direction. Okay, so remember this point. And finally, the lowest level where you can provide a service is the single component with no child components. So if we provide a service on a component with no child components, this component will have its own instance of this service. And since it does not have any child component, so this in the instance will not be available for other components. And that instance will only be available for that component. All right, so with these examples, now I hope that now you have a good understanding of what a hierarchical dependency injection is. Now, there is one more thing which I want to cover here. So let's say in the app module, we are providing this enroll service. So an instance of this enroll service will be created and that will be injected for all the components and all the directives, right? Now, what if I also provide a service at the app level. In this case, again, an instance of this enroll service will be created and it will overwrite the instance of the enroll service created by app module. So now this instance will be propagated throughout the child components of this app component. Okay, so in the JavaScript component and in the Angular component, the instance of this enroll service created by this app component will be injected and not the instance created by the app module file. Again, what if I go to the individual component and there also I provide a service, the same service. So here, now we are providing this enroll service at app module level, then at app component level, and then also on this JavaScript component level. So which instance will be used here in, in the JavaScript component. In this case also, the instance created for this JavaScript component will override the instance created by this app component. 
and it will also override the instance created by the app module and this concept is very important to understand because if you don't understand this concept then it can lead to several bugs in your application and we will understand this hierarchical dependency injection with an example in our next lecture so this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day